Sorry, I got held up. Did I miss the whole dog and pony show with the investor? No, uh, Miss Cross is not due for a few minutes yet. Why am I here early? I, uh, I wanted to go over your presentation. Do you, do you have a script or talking points? Perhaps cue cards? No, <laughs> I think you can do it without prompts. You're actually going to instruct me? Yes. I want you to smile, shake your hand, tell her you're thrilled to meet her, and keep your mouth shut. This is my project. Shouldn't I be able to you know, tell her how I came up with the concept? Why don't you let others say how amazing you are? It sounds more sincere coming from other people. Oh, yeah? Like who? Hmm. Miss Cross? Oh, please call me Mona. Uh, well, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Bob Hughes, and this is Reed Oliver. Oh, I am thrilled to meet you. Ah, oh, good. Well, let's sit down. Oh, yes. Uh, Dr. Oliver uh, came to us from Dallas. We snagged him about, uh, what was last fall? Yeah, I wouldn't say snagged so much as lured and trapped, but, you know, that's neither here nor there. <laughs> Luke. Uh, Luke Snyder, Mona Cross. It's a pleasure to meet you, Luke. Luke was a major donor to the new wing, which uh, Dr. Oliver will be supervising. Oh, very generous. Well, the work is what's important. We're just glad to be in a position to help. Why did you choose to build the wing at Memorial? Couldn't you serve more patients at a larger, more metropolitan hospital? Well, other hospitals aren't run by someone I respect as much as Dr. Hughes and staffed with some of the best doctors in the country, Dr. Oliver. Yes, Memorial is the, the little hospital that could. Uh, Dr. Oliver came to us from a large hospital in Dallas, and he's had to make some adjustments. Mm. May I offer you a drink? That's a great idea, a drink. Let's get that waiter over here. Let me tell you something, Mona. I mean, when I first moved to this town, it was like taking a thousand steps backwards. Uh, Dr. Oliver has had a lot of success here at Memorial. There was a client of his who was told by numerous specialists that he wouldn't be able to see ever again. Now he has his eyesight back, thanks to Dr. Oliver. You know, I've heard about that case. I would love to meet with that patient if I could. Um, I find it helps to talk to... The little people? Yeah. That's not what I meant to say. Uh, were you able to reach Noah? That's the young man. Uh, yes, yes, but unfortunately he couldn't be here today. Oh. Change my plans. So, did you enjoy working with Dr. Oliver? No. And why is that? Well, there was something I, I wanted. Something I thought was more important than everything else. Being able to see? Yeah, and, and Reed could give that back to me. Or he could take it away. And I just didn't like being so out of control. But Reed gave you what you wanted. He gave me my eyes. With Reed Oliver at Memorial, I'm sure the hospital will have no problems attracting other talented surgeons. But I'm not sure that any of them will be able to match his success rate or his reputation. Well, it's been a pleasure and a privilege meeting you. Mr. Mayor, thank you so much for coming. You all right? Yeah, I'm used to it. Getting hit is just part of being me. Are you okay? You know, I'm, I'm fine. You guys are both scaring the pants off of our potential investor. This is astonishing. I'm sorry about this. Mr. Mayor seemed like such a nice young man. Yes, he is. Uh, there seem to be a lot of uh, suppressed emotions going on. Uh, why don't we have a drink? Oh. Yeah. Is this planned? You're going to have to ask no one. I would wait a couple days or a couple weeks. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it might be broken. I'm not sure. Well, let me drive you to the hospital. Why, well, you go after Noah. I'm fine. I'll walk. I already checked. He's long gone. Well, sorry about that. Well, then accept the ride. Is it broken? No. I think I still have a future as a male model. <laughs> you know, I have never seen a look of shock on your face <laughs> until today. Oh, man, Noah has some right hook. Yeah, well. He also knows how to use a gun, so consider yourself lucky. Oh, fantastic. I just happened to 
fall for a guy whose ex can pulverize me. Oh, what can I say? I like him tough. You're pretty tough yourself. You kidnapped me, threatened me. What are you gonna do with me now? I thought you said you didn't want anything to do with me. When you said that you and Noah were through. We are. Look, Reed. What do you want me to say? That that's true. Hey, Bob. How did things go with Mona? Luke, I'd, I'd like a word with Dr. Oliver alone, please. Yes, of course. I have stuff I have to do anyway. What do you need? To be wrong. You knew that I was arranging this meeting, and you knew it was important to the future of this hospital. Your point? My point is, why didn't you tell me that you were having a personal relationship with Luke Snyder outside this hospital? I wouldn't call it that. Well, it certainly was a problem for Noah. And when I walked in here... Yeah, I didn't know Noah was going to be there at the meeting. I didn't know Luke was going to be there either, for that matter. It's inappropriate. Why? You have to ask. Luke isn't my patient. And unless he suddenly incurs a brain injury, he's not going to be. Noah terminated my services this morning, so I don't really see what the problem is. You really don't see that this situation could have grave consequences. Because Noah Mayer clocked me back at the Lakeview? How is that my fault? Because he clocked you in front of a potential buyer for this hospital. Miss Cross represents a company that could pour millions of dollars into this hospital and save jobs and save God knows how many lives. And, and somehow that's all in jeopardy because I'm interested in Luke Snyder? Well, if she puts two and two together and realizes that the main backer of the new wing and its supervisor are having a personal relationship. The whole thing could self-destruct. Oh, that, that's my heinous sin? Nepotism? This coming from you? Your grandson nearly married a staff nurse until the wedding tanked in, a, in infidelity and gunfire. Your son works at the hospital. Your mother volunteers here, and I bet she gets pretty prime parking spaces, too. None of my family is as involved in the new wing as you and Luca. I bet you wouldn't be half so put off if this didn't involve two gay men. This has absolutely nothing to do with your sexual orientation. If you say so. It's a matter of ethics, pure and simple. If you are having a relationship, or intend to have a relationship, with a major donor to this hospital, it is unethical. Says you. Why don't we play it this way, Bob? You stay out of my personal life. I'll get involved with whoever the hell I want to. And if somebody at Invicta Corporation doesn't like it, tough. That's an interesting suggestion. Let me tell you how I think it's going to play out. The new wing will move forward under your leadership. Or you will have a relationship with Luke Snyder. You can't have both. Choose. No, wait, what do you not want? What happened back there? Did you miss the punch? Because I could go back and hit him again. No, what I'm missing is the reason. You say that you want nothing to do with me, and then you punch Reed? Why? I wanted to. All right, well, let's get something straight. You ended this. That means you don't have the right to, uh, to clock in or to punch in with your opinions on somebody else who's interested in me. Fine. No, but I... I do have to ask you this. You're doing that. Does that mean that you care enough to react? That wasn't me caring. That was me being fed up. 